and the butt of a pea, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, my paintbrush is wrapped! Just a new girl, I get to do that! Morning sunshine. So we just arrived at the mural site. So it says here for a good time, not a long time, and the butt of a pea, or whatever you want to call it. I call it the butt of a pea. But that's done. That was yesterday's work. So all we have to do today is get a second coat on those letters up there and then the stem of the pea. So the rest of her logo, which is in blue. And I, I've noticed like a lump or so, so we'll we'll smooth out that butt. <laughs> We'll smooth out the butt. <laughs> and then later today, I'm designing a mural for a local fire department. So it's gonna be a wonderful, rainy, gross, 32 degree day. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get this projector set up. I set it up on top of that ladder so that it can project the stem of the P and the rest of the logo. Um, so we can knock this sucker out. <laughs> okay. Mural tip. If you are setting up a projector and it needs to be like to hit the right spot on the wall, the projector either needs to tilt up or tilt down. L literally, I use trash notepads whatever i could find before and then just like shove it under the projector so it tilt it just right look into some shims literally you can get them in like lows and all a shim is it's basically a little scrap piece of wood that's at a slight angle this is all it is okay two of them right or you can get however many and you stack them just like this so you need just a little bit you're gonna layer them like this. You need more of an angle, more of an angle, more of an angle, keep sliding them on top of each other. It raises them higher. So then if you just need just a little bit, you just slide it ever so slightly and it gives you the perfect, it's, it's literally perfect. Just try it, get some shims, shove it under your projector and just the slightest movement in will lift your projector up just a little bit more and it's so handy so handy way better than trash and trying to get a piece of cardboard that's just the right thinness no 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 honey shims fun fact for you because we got it lined up perfect do you see this shims they angle it just right look at that so we'll paint that rest of that blue, tape it off, do all the things, and that look will be done. Okay, so I taped off the stem of the pea, and honestly, I just lined up the tape along this baseline of the stem, making sure it matched, and then this, I measured the thickness of the pea, the butt of the pea, which I have already painted, and it was about an inch and an eighth consistently all the way around so what i did was measure an inch and an eighth using a clear ruler and i lined up inch and an eighth right there wait that's not right <laughs> that's seven eighths that's an inch and an eighth that's an inch and an eighth and then i ran my tape all the way across it and i did the same thing so i slid my ruler up and then taped it down so it was consistently an inch and an eighth thickness which would match the black which we've already painted so that's just how I accomplished that. And now I'm making sure I can press it down super hard because we don't want any blue on this white underneath. <laughs> no, no. Cue the satisfying paint peel. <laughs> she 
t-shirt. Ready? Now for the swoop. I literally tested this brush because this is a different brush, same brand, same width, but I like used it differently. So I wanted to make sure the bristles will paint the same distance. <laughs> they have a little trash box. Can you see on the flap? <laughs> I tested it. Cause so it paints an eight an inch and an eighth. So we're good. Make sure the brush is really loaded with paint. Like wipe off the excess on the sides, but like in the center. In the center, there's tons of paint. You know what I mean? So like, I don't want none on that, but I need it all in there. I get nervous. <laughs> too much, you see. Touch up that area now time to touch up this where it feathered and don't be scared to like push on your brush a little bit I mean I say that and I get scared but that way it won't feather touch-ups are done I need to pull this little bit of paint off and here for a good time not a long time with the logo is paintbrushes and they have really long bristles I'll tell you why in a second I cannot multitask oh, I'm so excited I'm so excited oh my goodness look at these okay 
and they have really long hairs because when you're doing more letter based or yeah let's say letters if you're doing letters their bristles are short they hold less paint so you, like you dip it in paint and then you're starting to paint a letter and then it's out of it's out of paint again so you need to redip it and start again and that makes a really choppy line when you go to paint letters these bristles hold a lot of paint and they're really long and that also not only helps with how much paint they hold giving you a smoother line because they're so long they give you a really smooth line like it's kind of takes out some of the wiggle short hair could short haired brush could give you because it's like moving really slow does that like imagine like a snail his tail is going to take forever and it smooths out his slimy trail line so will these oh and then this one they, they like put him in a tube to protect him because this is like a pinstriping brush like if you're detailing a car which i'm not doing obviously but if i were to <laughs> i got the tool like, I don't want to take it out of its case, but it's really long and skinny for the same reason. A fine, thin line that'll end up really smooth and really sleek because it's holding a lot of brush and also the length takes out some of the wiggle. I hope that makes sense, but oh, I'm so excited. It's the Eclipse Masterstroke. I have no idea if I recommend them or not, but... They are what I want. I am like a little concerned that this is already feathered. I don't love that. But hopefully like paint will, like once it's dipped in paint, it'll make it all squish together again. You know what I mean? Oh, the mural is complete at the Piper Lynch Cosmetology Hair Studio. The quote and her logo are completed. So now I need to design a mural for a fire department. And I'm going to go ahead and design it. I've already met with them. We've talked about what they want. So I just need to sit down and do it. But I'm going to make coffee first. Because I had lunch. Like now I just need a little pick me up. Because. When a good thing comes along. Darling tell me all about the dreams you had last night. You can be so restless in your sleep. Okay, also, I know when you're working, you're supposed to sit at a table. You're supposed to have, like, workspace distinction. Like, you eat in the kitchen, you work at the table, at the desk, and you watch TV in this chair. You know, like, you're supposed to... It is a cold, rainy winter day, and I get to draw and design a mural. I'm going to sit in this chair. I'm not going to sit at my desk, because I'll sit at my desk later tonight when I edit this video. <laughs> I want to sit in this chair and be comfy right now. <laughs> I'm just a little girl. I get to do that. <laughs> so don't give me a bad rap. Just let me be cozy. Just let me be cozy. It's a good stopping point because the collage part is done. Ne next is drawing. So I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to look through the book of joe find some something to eat and head to the grocery store and then come back and either start drawing or start cooking one of the two is first and then i'll do the other after <laughs> i don't know so we'll see now we'll flip through the book of joe and if you don't know what that is <laughs> it's magnolia it's the magnolia cookbook by joanna gaines and we call it the book of joe yeah. there's the green book the white book and the black book of joe and we're gonna flip through and find something to eat now i may be being a little ambitious but the white book of joe has this white vegetable lasagna recipe look at this that on a cozy 32 degree rainy day when it's supposed to get up wind chills supposed to make it in single digits tonight that looks like what I want to eat. Like, yes. Looks delicious. So now I'm going to make me a list. Also, it says prep time is 40 minutes. So let's go ahead and say this is going to take me an hour and a half to prep. <laughs> and then it's an hour and a half cook time. So we shall see. I have never cooked a lasagna either, so I feel like that's another, like, I'm being ambitious. 
<laughs> well, that just looks so good. That's what I want. That's what I want to eat. Why is it so watery? Ooh. Oh. oh, I hope it's good. <laughs> well, you look at them right there. It looks good. <laughs> they don't show you that vegetables give off water. Because that one didn't have veggies. But that one does. We're just going to drain it. Yeah. That's pretty good, though.